Hi, this is a quick presentation of the Impost My Guest List interface. Uh, we'll just select on to log in. So this is using the any terminal of an Impost system. Uh, we've got our MGL members uh, feature down the bottom here. This brings up our a member search screen, so we can type in uh, any particular member name. You can search for first name, last name, mobile phone number, or postcode. Uh, typically, when assigning a member, you can use uh, plastic cards, uh, so membership type cards. Or you could also use just a, a unique number, basically, so uh, the, the person's mobile phone number or anything like that. So we'll just enter in a series of numbers here. As soon as we do that, it then asks us uh, what type of membership card type that we're doing. So this is where you can set up multiple different membership card type schemes. So you, you can have as many as you like. Um, so you might have one for friends and family, VIP club, uh, you know, 100, 100 schooner club or something like that. We'll just select onto the My Guest List card type. And we'll enter in say, our first name of Ruby, our last name of uh, Jean, and an email address. Now, because my guest list is all about social media and email marketing, you do need to have an email address in here. So we'll just put in ruby at gene.com in order for the data to be synced across. Uh, it is a live sync with the my guest list system. Um, you can also enter in a, a mobile phone number as well, which is allows you to take advantage of the, the my guest list SMS capabilities. Upon selecting onto OK, the system will just ask us if we want to assign Ruby Jean to the current order. We'll select onto Yes, and then we can run through and just select onto whichever products that we want to sell in this particular instance. So we might select onto some of these winery based products and also onto a couple of the beers and select onto Cash. OK, if we just go to our My Guest List platform. So this is all web-based. You can access it via a mobile phone, any web browser or an iPad. We're just onto the database tab. What we can do is we can search for our members based off first name, last name, email address, mobile phone number, whether they're male or female, uh, their date of birth, age, sign up date, last updated date, etc. With the integration, you can also search based off a category. So a category might normally be, say, food or beverage. Uh, a department or you can even drill down to the item level. So in that instance we want to have a look for Peroni because we just sold a Peroni to Ruby Jean. We'll select on to search and you'll see here it comes up with everyone who's had a Peroni. Okay? You could even search based off uh, purchase amount so you could further filter this and say I just want to have a look for whoever's purchased a Peroni and you could say from the 12th of November 2012 and select search that there will then further redefine your searching criteria based off when they've purchased. So we can select in to edit this contact. Alternatively, you could select in you just want to send an SMS out to all of these contacts. And that there will then bring up all of the details of that particular member. You can go into the purchases tab and we can see every, everything that this member's purchased. Uh, the system allows you to also uh, create reports or filters based off the actual purchased amount. So you might want to go in there and just have a look for everyone who spent over say $110. So if we just go back to database, we want to have a look at the purchase total from say $110 and show me everyone who spent over $110 from a particular date range and then select on to search and then it will show us all the members that have spent that particular amount. From there, we can just go send SMS and instantly we can send an SMS or an email out to all of our members. And that's it. That's the integration with my guest list.